So as I said before, um, in this section I want to make another levels adjustment layer, but again I want to restrict this just to the, uh, the water and the land. Now we can actually use the last selection we made of the sky, so I'm going to go to select and reselect, but now I want to invert this selection, so rather than having the sky selected, we've actually got the uh, water and the distant land. To do that, we'll go to select and inverse. So at this stage, I want to choose another levels adjustment layer. Again, I'll click on the button and choose levels. You'll immediately see that uh, in the layer mask for the adjustment levels, we've now got the sea and land in white and the sky in black indicating that the levels adjustment will only be visible over the, uh, the lower half of the image. OK, so again here I'm going to grab the white point slider to lighten the highlights in this area. And you can see that really brings some punch into the image. I'm going to just grab the black point slider, slide it to the right a little, so we're darkening the uh, the shadows in this area and I'm also going to darken the mid-tones just a little again by dragging the gamma slider to the right. I think we can actually afford to just push up those highlights just a little more. Just takes a little fine adjustment here and we'll click OK to apply that layer. Now I actually don't want that levels adjustment visible over this building and we can easily um, stop that by or click directly on the layer mask for the adjustment layer and choose the brush tool. I'm actually going to choose a soft brush from the brush picker and make sure that my foreground colour is black. Let's just increase the size of the brush a little and now I can simply paint over this building with black directly onto the layer mask which will actually hide that levels adjustment over that area. Let me just zoom in a little on that so we can see better what's going on. Again back to the brush tool and I'm just going to choose a hard brush at this stage so I can carefully paint within the building itself just to hide that levels adjustment in this area. Again up here I'm also going to paint all the way over the end of the building like so and down here and as you'll see what I'm doing here is simply painting with black onto the layer mask to hide the effect of the adjustment layer over this particular area. Also going to hide it over there. Like so you need to take your time with this so you're painting accurately but for the uh, the purposes of this demonstration I shall pretty roughly paint over that area. So with two simple levels adjustment layers with the layer masks attached we've actually made a, a real difference to the tonality of the sky the water and the distant land so I said before you can also also re-edit these adjustment layer settings um, if we simply double click the adjustment layer we can then go back into the levels adjustment and we can tweak things a little and I think that could again still afford with going that little bit further to introduce some really nice contrast into that water and we'll click OK. So I'd actually like to introduce some contrast now into this building again I can do that with with an adjustment layer but I'm going to do it in a slightly, uh, slightly different way. So this time I'm simply going to click the adjustments layer icon and choose levels. To grab the white point slider, I'm going to drag this up 
I'm ignoring all of this area because uh, this area of the adjustment layer itself will be hidden eventually. So I'm going to drag this up and I'm simply concentrating on the tones and contrast within this uh, within this building on the roof and the uh, the end here. I'm just going to tweak the black point slightly. I'm again going to push the white point a little further towards the left. I'll click OK to that. Now as I said I only want this showing over this building so I'm now going to fill this layer mask with black. We'll do that via edit and fill layer and we'll choose black for contents and we'll click OK to completely hide the effects of the adjustment layer. I can now return to the brush tool and this time make sure I'm using white as my foreground colour and we'll simply paint with white onto the layer mask to reveal the effect of that adjustment layer exactly where I want it. Simply going to paint over the roof of the building. As I said before when you're doing this make sure you take your time and get things nice and accurate like so paint along the edge of the roof there like that and as I said I want to reveal the levels adjustment over the end of the building here make it nice and bright so I can simply paint over that with white onto the layer mask. Like so. So you can see now things are looking very much brighter and we've uh, we've really brought some nice contrast and uh, nice tonality into the image. In the next part we're going to come back and add one more levels adjustment layer.